Hey everybody. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the shift. The shift that is happening on the planet between 1994 and 2030. This is an energetic shift. It's been spoken a lot in lots of esoteric circles. Now what is the shift? We will talk about that from the ascendant perspective. So I'll quickly run through some slides. And you can take this further, do research on the web, go to YouTube channels, you'll find lots of kind of resources out there about the shift. So first we know about this, personal, extra personal and transpersonal planets. We have covered this in the videos before. You can see how the planets talk to each other in this, so you'll have a better idea. Please see those videos and then come to this one if at all it's not clear and see the ascendant videos. The entire playlist of 12 ascendants and then come to this if you don't know where your ascendant is and how your <clears throat> all these planets are placed personal extra personal and transpersonal let me know through my uh, links in the description box and we can take it from there so what is the great shift what is this shift in human consciousness that is being talked about in all esoteric circles all new age circles almost even all astrological circles what is the great shift? The great shift, the shift of human consciousness on earth. This is an 18 year period before and after 2012. It's a 36 year window. Take 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar, etc, etc. You can do more research on the web. So 2012, 18 years before, 2012, 18 years after. So it goes up till 2030, starts from 1994. Now, this is a huge topic filled with a lot of uh, esoteric stuff, knowledge. You can go research on yourself on the web. I'm not going to cover that here. But basically, there are a lot of esoteric, energetic and earth energy shifts in this period. Much, much more than astrology. And many researches on the net for you to research. You can go and see it for yourself. The energy of the earth and energy of humans and human consciousness and what we are going to do is permanently shifting in this period. This is the, like a focal point. The repercussions after 2030 will be enormous. It will be carrying on for hundreds and thousands of years. The energy of earth and humans are undergoing great shift of consciousness. Repercussions will permanently shift the earth into higher consciousness. This is where it's a great shift. What's presented here in this series, in, in this video, is an astrological take plotted by the Vedic system on how it will play by ascendants using the outermost planet of Pluto and how it transits through different ascendants. So the shift, the first phase was what I call the Scorpio phase because we are measuring everything from the outermost, the outermost here in this case being Pluto. So we will take the uh, Plutonic shifts into consideration, right? So the Pluto went through the entire sign of Scorpio that's from 1993 to 2006 this is global the funny thing that happened here was at the same time there used to be um, Uranus and Neptune conjunct when this was entering Scorpio Pluto entered Scorpio from the time Pluto left Scorpio which was in 2006 so this transition of Pluto well how does it affect different ascendants major shifts by ascendants all Scorpio ascendants would have changed complete change in self, personality and the psyche, the entire personality would have been different to before this period. Like they feel complete change in their self. Almost like you can't recognize yourself in the mirror. It's like that. The Aries ascendants, they will see shifts in their access to occult knowledge and abilities and hidden secrets coming out. The Taurus ascendants, in their relationship, marriage, spouses and business partnership. These are all major shifts in major areas. If you want to know why, find out from my ascendant video list where your number 8 falls, where the Scorpio house fall and you will figure it out why. Gemini ascendants in with their enemies daily work and routines. Cancer ascendants with their education, relationships, the children and creativity. Leo ascendants in their home life, property, land, vehicles, etc. All Virgo ascendants with their younger sibling skills and education. Libra ascendants with their wealth and family. Sagittarius ascendants with their spiritual dimensional access, psychic abilities, channeling, etc. 
Capricorn ascendants with their gains, social networking, friend circles. Aquarius ascendants with their work, career, business and fame. Pisces ascendants with their higher knowledge, philosophical philosophy, higher education, etc. Okay. So that was the first phase of the shift, very hectic phase because Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio, co-ruler of Scorpio with Mars and Ketu. So they have been, all these shifts would have been felt pretty heavy. It is the same period when 9-11 happened in US. So you can see how Scorpio phase can be very destructive. Okay, so next phase was the Sagittarius phase. We just kind of come to the end of that this year. And the Sagittarius phase also kicked off the COVID event. So the Sagittarius phase is the second phase, which came up till 20th January 2021. We finished that. We just finished that this year. Now, what happened in this phase and how did it affect the ascendants? In the second phase, the Sagittarius phase, the Sagittarian ascendant will have felt change in self-personality and the psyche, Aries with their higher knowledge, philosophy and higher education, Taurus with their access to occult knowledge abilities, hidden secrets, it's all the eighth house stuff. What Gemini ascendants in the relationships, marriage, spouses, business partnerships, etc. The relationships big time for Gemini, which just passed. They might have been getting married, they might have been getting divorced. Gemini ascendants. All Cancer ascendants with their enemies, daily work, etc. So you make enemies or you destroy your enemies. All Leo ascendants in their education relationships with their children and creativity. Their creativity will be very high. All Virgo ascendants with their home life, property, land and vehicles. All Libra ascendants with their younger siblings, skills and education. Scorpio ascendants with their wealth and family. Capricorn ascendants with their high dimensional psychic abilities. Aquarius ascendants with their gain, social networking, friend circles. You would have made lots of them. And then we have Pisces ascendants with their work, career, business. Maybe they have changed their work, career, business in this phase. Major shifts. Now, since January 2021, we are in the third phase of the shift, which will continue till January 2040. Okay, January 2021 to 2040 is 20-year period, is a Capricorn phase. Now Capricorn and Pluto are very contradictory in the sense Capricorn wants fixed stuff, it is driven by Saturn and Pluto is a destroyer, it wants to transmute stuff. This is the recalibration of power and control centers of the world, recalibration of all institutions, government, finance, globally, we are speaking globally. So that's, we are in a very hectic phase of the shift in this 20 year period, 2021 to 2040. So what happens in this period? We are going from Pluto, which is transiting through the sign of Capricorn. It finishes Capricorn by 2040. So in this period that it goes through the entire Capricorn, what shall we see in the ascendants? This is the future. This year going up till 2040. It's a quite a bit of period. So in the Capricorn, the all Capricorn ascendants will have major shifts in self, personality, psyche and is pretty destructive to Capricorn ascendants. The reason is because when Pluto passes through the first house, it completely changes your sense of who you are. You, you, one can never be the same afterwards. So Capricorn ascendants are going through that now with everything that's going on in the world. All Aries ascendants with their work, career, business and fame. It affects their 10th house. Taurus with their higher knowledge and abilities in the 9th house. They may even get higher education or what it means to be have higher knowledge because Taurus is an earth sign. They don't really think about such things. Gemini ascendants in their access to occult knowledge abilities, hidden secrets. They can't keep hidden secrets when Pluto is moving. All their secrets will come out. But they will have more access to occult knowledge because Pluto is also the ruler of the eighth. Cancer ascendants in their relationships, marriages, seventh house, they may get married, they may get divorced. This is a big time for cancer ascendants, this 20 year period. 
or liaise with their enemies. They might defeat their enemies. They might have change in work, their daily work routines. Virgo ascendants will have um, their education, relationships with their children and family. Their whole sense of family might change. So with this work from home situation, this will play a huge role because everybody is stuck at home. So Virgo ascendants will be having a really hard time with Pluto going through that house of which stands for education, relationships, children, creativity, maybe high, maybe low, maybe variable. You've got to see Uranus, Neptune and uh, Jupiter and what Mahadasha they are running. So for all that you contact me, it's very complicated to tell. These are just general themes. Libra and ascendants with their home life, property, land, vehicles, etc. They may make shift home. What is your sense of home? Who you, who, what do you think is your home? This will all shift for Libra and ascendants. They may own property, land, vehicles, etc. Or Scorpio ascendants with their younger siblings. Skills, education, this idea will shift for all Scorpio ascendants. They may break away with their, their younger siblings. They may get closer to them. They may develop more skills, more education. Sag people with their wealth and family. This is again going to be hectic because wealth and family is the second house. So where Sag will see this. Um, Aquarius ascendants with their lower dimensional axis. Why I say lower dimensional? Because it belongs to the Capricorn sign belongs to Saturn, which is access to lower dimensions. Jupiter is higher dimensions. So Aquarius ascendants will see lower dimensional psychic abilities. All Piscean ascendants with their gains in social media networking. So Piscean ascendant might end up changing their become more sociable participate more on social media rather than the introverts that they typically are. They might gain more, they might become wealthier or they might lose a lot of money. It goes either way. We can see other things when it comes to that. So guys, this is my brief analysis of the major ascendant shift in the three phases. We got the Scorpio, we finished the Scorpio phase. We just finished the Sag phase in Jan 2021. From Jan to uh, 20, 2021 to 20, 2040, we are going through the last phase of the shift. This concludes, shift concludes on uh, 2030, uh, technically, give or take plus or minus a couple of years. But the actual Pluto transition is going till 2040. This will see a complete change in all earthly systems because Capricorn stands for earthly systems, institutions, government, seats of power, seats of finance, seats of everything, structural, breakdown of structural stuff is Capricorn, which wants to ground. It's an earth sign. All right. That's all for me from now. Take care.